Well, hello there. I'm Tracy Resch Williams, business coach and consultant for Alaska Tracy. Businesses work with me that are seeking calmness, clarity, and prosperity. Using my vision mapping framework, I guide them on their journey to success. On this podcast, you can enjoy hearing inspirational stories of success, as well as business tips and tools that you can actually use. So thanks for joining in. And oh, please remember, click the subscribe button, invite your friends, and leave a comment. Thank you. Well, hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining in to this episode. I am recording it December 22nd, 2020. We are wrapping up the year. Thank goodness. Yesterday, we celebrated winter solstice. And in Anchorage, Alaska, it's a pretty big deal because today we gained 12 seconds of daylight. And... By the end of January, we'll be light until 5.30. Right now, the sun sets about 3.40, 3.20, somewhere around there. It's very, very short days. So solstice was welcomed in with 115 mile an hour winds last night. They moved in about 11 o'clock and they blew up until... Oh, about an hour ago. So they blew and blew and blew all day and the temperature rose to 40. We've got about two feet of snow outside and the snow is quickly melting. Luckily, it's not going to stay this warm for long and it looks like more snow is moving in. And I want to wish you all a wonderful day wherever you are and thank you for joining in to this episode I'm going to wrap it up with sharing a few tips and tools that have really helped me stay the course through all of it this year. A few tips and tools that have helped me stay the course through everything that happened this year. And that is the whole reason for creating a vision map. Because life is going to happen. It's going to happen to all of us. And if we have a really clear, complete roadmap for success with a couple other things built into it that when life deals us a stumbling block, it can be easier to get back on the pathway and continue to move forward even when it's not easy. And believe me, I know it's it's not always easy. So this is a recap of all the things that my vision map and has helped me to successfully create and, and be a success with this year, I had no idea a few of the things that happened uh, for creating my success in actually 2021 were going to happen. They were not on my roadmap. And that's the beauty of having a plan. It allows you their creativity to keep moving forward and be surprised when opportunities appear. The, the biggest takeaway for me is that systems really are paramount. I teach it, I preach it, and I'm still blown away when I create systems in my business and my life, the results that happen. I am always amazed. And I always wonder, how can I teach and preach this and still be so amazed? And I am. I'm always so amazed that when you put systems into place, when you take the actions that are necessary to create the results, whatever the results are, when you put accountability in play, people in your life that you will be accountable to when things start flying off the rails, and then measuring tracking that you are actually moving forward and or if you hit a big old bump, how you're going to pivot, how you're going to adjust to get back back on the course. And so one of, well, I've got four things that I wrote down. Uh, my YouTube channel, because that's fresh on my brain, this podcast episode uh, they call it lead generation now or email list. 
Uh, I used to call it database. So lead generation, uh, those are the really big three ingredients that have grown for me and my business because of implementing systems. Does it take a lot of time? Hell yes. <laughs> Is it a lot of work? Yes. Are there going to be days where you may want to divert? You may want to, you may ask yourself why you're doing what you're doing. Yes. If you have the vision map in place, you'll be able to see why you're doing what you're doing. You'll be able to ask yourself, am I, is this a waste of time? Is this helping me move forward to those goals? Or is it blocking and getting in the way? The first one, YouTube, um, I, I recently started growing my YouTube channel. And believe it or not, I had a YouTube channel. I had created a YouTube channel eight years ago. I can't believe it's only been eight years ago because it seems like forever ago um, when I created that because I was in the real estate business. And I'm just looking at my channel right now. I want to say that that was longer than eight years ago, but it's telling me that it was eight years ago. So I'm going to, I'm going to go with that for now. I created a YouTube channel and I didn't, I dabbled with it. I dabbled with it. I didn't really do a whole heck of a lot with it. I would throw up a video every once in a while um, with the hopes that it would get views and uh, comments and feedback, and I was very willy-nilly with it. I love video. I love doing video. I get great results from video. And so I got intentional 28 days ago. I just looked at my statistics again. 28 days ago, I got intentional, and I started doing videos almost every single day inspirational marketing and or business. And in 28 days, it, it may seem like a lot to you and it may not seem like a lot to you. Uh, 376 of views, my watch time, 17.9 hours, and I increased by 17 subscribers. And that is not spending all my time on YouTube. That is simply creating a video, and I haven't gone all fancy. I haven't done the whole, a lot of people have a little intro on their videos. Um, mine's, mine's pretty basic. Uh, oh, and I also show people Alaska. So I've got, um, and I'll put a link in the show notes for the latest episode of my YouTube video. So there's either, there's inspiration, business, marketing, and Alaska. They're simple and they are informative uh, or, or inspir they're either inspirational, educational, enlightening, something people can use. And I always offer a freebie. I have many, many freebies. And so I put a link for the freebie that people can download, upload. Uh, a freebie to help them in business and marketing in life. And so that was just implemented less than a month ago. And it's, and it's fun. It's become fun. I, like I said, I still have a long way to go learning. And I'm excited about that in 2021. So that was a system, a video for 30 days, a video every other day, um, and then share it on all my social media sites and ask for help. Ask people to please subscribe. If I hit, when I hit 100 subscribers, I can change my domain, my YouTube domain to match my branding. And I'm at 74 subscribers. So I've grown subscribers, which is, is wonderful. So I've asked for help. I've created a system and I've stuck to it, especially on the days when I have not wanted to do that. It's a system. This episode, this podcast, again, it was sitting there back in May, I had a realization that it was 
again, I was posting willy nilly. I was very, uh, I had no system. The bottom line, I had no system. And I have a women's membership community called Visions to Profits Women's Membership Community, uh, the Visionaires. And each month they get deliverables. They get a uh, weekly focus forward call. They get a group coaching call. They get action sheets. They get they get all sorts of stuff. And so what they asked me throughout the year, because I asked them if they are happy with what they are getting, if they need help, if they need what, what their ideas are. And they told me that they wanted less. They really liked the Focus Forward meeting. And, oh, they get uh, free quarterly vision mapping workshops, which they're really liking the quarterly uh, as opposed to a yearly uh, retreat or a workshop. They're liking the quarterly because they can break their business, their life into quarters. And it's easier for them to measure the results and tweak it every quarter. So they get a free workshop every quarter. And I open that up to women to buy into that as well. So you can look for that on my website, alaskatracy.com. Uh, the next one is coming up. Actually, it's my annual and it's the membership community doesn't get this one for free, because it's a pay what you want. And so I do that once a year, I've been doing that, I believe this will be my third or fourth year. It's pay what you want, vision, virtual women's vision mapping workshop, January 2nd. And I'll pop the link into the show notes for that as well. Pay whatever you want, no judgment. Uh, and come and join in. It's a two hour Zoom interactive workshop. You will leave with your road map to success for 2021. I do this every year. I donate a certain portion of the proceeds to somebody in need or somebody's in need. And selfishly, I do this workshop because it forces me to get my 2021 plan roadmap created so that I can share it with you in the workshop. So it's a little selfish there. And it forces me to get my outline completed. And then when I do the quarterly workshops, I tweak my, my plan. So the podcast was sitting there doing absolutely nothing. And because I do a lot of meditation, I had an intuitive thought that if I gear the podcast towards the members, even though anybody can listen to the podcast episodes, really tweak the podcast episode so that it is geared towards the members. So people that I have on are talking, giving, teaching the members first and foremost, and the reality is the podcast episode would grow. And so back in June, I started to implement a system, the podcast system of two interviews a month, seeking out two people a month to interview on the Alaska Tracy podcast. And if you look back at the last several episodes, you will see uh, amazing interviews with really wonderful souls who are doing such great work and giving tools and ideas and sharing their story, their story of struggle and how they got to where they are, what they define success. It has been fun for me to meet so many amazing people or to reach out to people that I've known for a long time that have mentored me. My very first business mentor is on episode, I'm looking here really quick. She was the one who got me into my very first business or helped me with my very first business over 20 years ago. And she is on episode 50. Yeah, Tandy Wallach. She's on episode 50. And uh, yeah, there's just really great. There's uh, CPA, there or uh, tax uh, accountant, there's uh, animal communicator, 
all sorts of really fun, neat people. My acupuncturist. So it's it's been very fun for me to do this as well as giving it to the members first and foremost in Visions to Profits membership. And guess what? My podcast has grown. I was looking at my numbers today. It has declined a little bit this month because I did not reach out to two people this month. Uh, I'm looking for more people for 2021. So if you know somebody that might be a good fit for Alaska Tracy podcast, please, please, please send them my way or send me a message so that I can reach out to them. I am looking for uh, stories of inspiration, stories of enlightening, stories that people can teach business owners something. Um, And the podcast episode has grown. uh, Well, when I looked back in October, it had grown 35%. It was up 35%. And so again, that's creating a system. Seeing the results, uh, I hear from people often that they listen to it. And the most beautiful part is several of the members of Visions to Profits Women's Membership Community have told me that they have been listening and they see a huge shift and they're getting benefit from it, which was the goal for them to get benefit, to give them something simple that they can do not add to, right? The, my Visions to Profits membership is all about creating calmness, clarity, and prosperity. And so giving them worksheets was actually not what they wanted. They, I, I went to them, I said, oh, I'm not seeing anybody using them. And they said, please stop doing that. It's actually a waste of your time And I feel guilt for not doing those. So this is something they can click on in the car, they can listen to. It's a way for them to grow in a simpler manner than having to do more work on top of their business, their life, their family. Um, So that, that goal is in the works. So we have the YouTube, the podcast, and then we have the lead generation. And the lead generation is my database. That is my database. And it's creating a system. How are you going to increase your database? I'm, I'm a big, 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 big believer of a big, big believer that social media could be gone tomorrow. Your website and your database, you can carry with you. You can pack it in your little suitcase and you can carry it with you. You can change businesses and you can carry it with you. If you are nurturing your database, giving them, educating them, enlightening them, entertaining them, you will grow your business. How are you going to implement a system to grow your database? I have implemented a couple different systems and I have grown my database and I, I'd love to give you a number. Um, I am just looking at, because it doesn't, my database does not give me, it gives me how many in the last month. Every single month, I have added people to my database. Every single month, I've added people to my database. I have a system. I have a free community called the Women's Success Community on Facebook. It's a free group of women that I give, I enlighten, I entertain, and I ask people to share, to promote themselves. Okay, so that is a free community, the Women's Success Community. And every time somebody joins that, I ask them questions. And one of the questions is about their email. Do I have your permission for your email? Now, does everybody give me permission to add them to my database? No. Do a lot of people give me permission and then unsubscribe right away? Yes. And that's going to happen. And that's okay. The good news is 
more and more women are subscribing and more and more women are staying, which is super cool. That is my goal to give to the women that are on my email marketing list. So that is one avenue that I have, the Women's Success Community. There are a couple other ways that I, I've been successful adding people. And uh, one of them is, well, actually, it's LinkedIn. So if you are on LinkedIn, are you using it for your advantage? And what I mean by that is I reach out uh, once a month, twice a month, maybe, to new women that have uh, connected with me on LinkedIn. And I look at their profile, and I get to know them. And I ask them questions about their business. And then I ask them if they would like to be a part of the free women's success community. And then I send them the link. Once they get the link, they get asked the questions if they want to be on the on on my list. Okay, so those are like two streams. Also, I joined a group, a women's community group on Facebook. It's insane. It's got 447,000 women. It's the largest group I've ever seen. And once a week, I go live and I give them something that they can download. Um, last week when I went live, I think I had 13 people subscribe out of 447,000. That's I'll take it, right? The more I do, the more they'll get to know me and the algorithms with Facebook. And then it's offering them to go to the women's success group or women's, uh, uh, success community. It's, it's creating a system. And then sending a newsletter twice to three times a month. Again, educating, enlightening, and entertaining. Systems work. They totally work. When the, you know what, hits the fan, when things happen, like it's happened this year for all of us, there will be times when we want to change course. If we have a system in place and people that we are accountable to, people that can call us out when we're not doing what we say we're going to do, or when we're wanting to change course dramatically, they can remind us of our goals, of our power words, our mantra. They can ask us questions to help us to either keep moving forward or to change the course. What happened for me throughout the year, one of the visionaires in the Visions to Profits membership community, by the way, doors are open for anybody who would like to become a member. You can find that on alaskatracy.com. One of the visionaires that's known me, she's a founding, uh, she's an ambassador, uh, actually, uh, said to me back in July or June, she said, why aren't you calling yourself a coach? That's what you're doing. You're coaching us. I've always had an aversion to calling myself a coach. I've seen many, 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 many people call themselves coaches. And I was unclear, really, what a coach is and what a coach is not. And so I started doing the research on that because I have always had a curiosity about coaching business and life coaching. And so I found a, a school in Florida that I could do virtually. And I signed up in August. And I got my professional certification within six weeks. And then I went on to complete my MCC master certification, coaching certification uh, a couple weeks ago. And I have had the opportunity to coach and I love it. I love it. It is wonderful. And that is a way for people to be accountable. The difference between the membership and coaching, 
coaching one-on-one is the way that I learned, and I'm a member of the International Coaching Federation, so I abide by a code of ethics and certain core competency competencies. The way I coach and, and have learned to coach and abide by these uh, code of ethics is I ask questions to help you dig really deep to create goals, to push through obstacles that you might not even know that you have. And it's really rewarding. I've been a consultant all these years. So I've been the teacher. I've been showing, instructing, advising. Coaching is asking questions. There's n- there's not a advice. <laughs> so it is using a language that helps you to move forward out of the past. So therapy is looking at the past and digging deep into the past to help you move forward. Coaching is all about moving forward. There's no digging deep into the past. It's about moving forward. So using really specific words and uh, questions and to, to help you have breakthroughs in all areas of your life. And the results that I've already seen are incredible. They're transformational. And the next obvious step for a lot of the people that I coach, if they're women, is to join the Visions to Profits membership community, because that's all about accountability and talking amongst the women and sharing ideas and helping one another, because it can get lonely out there as an entrepreneur, as a business owner. I am thrilled with the successes of 2021 because I had a roadmap for success. Did it go exactly as I had planned? No. It went beyond my wildest dreams in ways I had no idea. The teachers that have come into my life to help me deal with anxiety that appeared back in February, and I still deal with it. Uh, I started swimming over a month ago. Two months ago now, I have definition in my arms, (laughs) because I'm pretty hardcore. Um, My business is growing. My husband and I are able to help people by doing things. And we've created some new traditions for Thanksgiving and Christmas, geared around doing for others. It feels really good. My hope for you, whenever you're listening to this, is that you grab on to whatever tools you need to live your very best life. Whether it's joining Visions to Profits Women's Membership Community, whether it's one-on-one coaching with me, whether it's coaching with somebody else, taking a program from somebody else, diving into something somebody else has to offer to enrich your life, to help you to keep moving towards those goals. My wish for you is that you find that and that you're able to live your very best life. Because as we know, it is a short, unpredictable life that we get to have right here, right now. Thank you so very much for listening to this episode and helping me to wrap up my year, my 2020, 2020, and to move into 2021 enlightened and excited, actually enlightened and a sort of calmness. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'll put all those links in the show notes uh, for any, if if you're not reading the show notes, you can look at um, myalaskatracy.com and you'll see all the offerings. You'll see my YouTube channel. If you scroll down to the bottom and you'll see my my podcast episode, which you know where that is. Uh, Remember to click subscribe and share with your friends. 
Thank you for helping me to stay the course this year and to grow. Until we meet again. Thank you.